you said you can't draw as good as everyone else in your family? Well, this video's for you! It'll teach you how to trace your drawing so you can paint it so you don't need no skill. I'm going to show you how I use carbon paper to trace my drawing onto the canvas because I'm not very good at drawing. What you see here is an image printed out at 6 inches by 6 inches. Behind it is 6 inches by 6 inches of carbon paper. Behind that is a canvas 6 by 6 inches. So only all things can be so simple and not perfectly. You can faintly see some discoloration here. That's because previously I had a painting on this canvas, didn't like it, and painted white over it. So my intention is to recycle the canvas. I also recycled the carbon paper. I have done other 6 by 6 inch paintings and used this method. You can see the lines where the carbon paper has transferred over to my canvas previously. But all these dark areas are unused carbon paper, so I will reuse the same sheet as many times as I can. What are you doing every day to save our earth? Huh? What are you doing? This is to show you that I tape down the image, the carbon paper, and securely fasten it to my canvas board. Next, you get to see a very close up of my hand cells, my epidermis. I see your epidermis. Your epidermis is showing. And I usually just use a normal pencil to trace on the image, which then transfers through to my canvas. This image shows you what areas I would prioritize. Not only do I do the main outline of the berries and the branch, but I will do the general shapes of the background where changes in color are taking place. This is showing a little bit of a mishap. What? You never make a mistake? I don't know why the carbon paper didn't transfer my tracings over. It might be the type of white paint I used, or maybe I didn't use white paint. It was so long ago, I can't even remember what I used to recycle. I have had this situation where I didn't press hard enough and nothing transferred over. So I'm going to try again. This photo is a little blurry, but you can see that I've gone over the berries again. The, the line is thicker here, but I didn't go over the background again. I'm worried that my lines won't come through at all, and I don't want to confuse myself with background lines. So I'm focusing on just the main subject. This is a close-up. This is a close-up of the canvas after my second round of tracing. It's still very faint. Can I just see what you're painting over there? What you're painting? But I can see enough to do my tracing. Using burnt umber, I am reinforcing the pencil lines. In areas where I lost the pencil lines completely, I'm using my photo as a reference and just doing my best to draw them in. Here is back and forth. You can kind of see the pencil lines. Here's part of the branch, berries, the leaf, and that's when I drew it in. So you can see that I really had to search for those lines, but they still helped me a lot. I was really surprised at how large the berries were. Looking at the photograph, they really didn't look that big. I filled in the rest with burnt sienna. This is what I call my underpainting. I know basically where the shapes of my painting will end up but I haven't actually started painting anything yet. In fact, most of this will be completely covered by the time I'm done painting. You could say this serves as a guide. Thanks for watching this video. It's really nice to have you around.